to adopt an ordinance that makes an allocation also then to the to the DMO TPA. It's going to train my brain here over the next couple of weeks, but uh, then that ordinance would spell it all out how these allocations are being made, just as the ordinance that's currently in existence spells it out specifically to the expo as 50 percent. That's going to have to get changed. We all know that's going to have to be changed. What I would like to see is have that 35 percent begin essentially in this month of November and continue into 2015 until such time as we actually do the formal ordinance. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see a real, the real audit, you know, with breakdowns on personnel and I want to understand that what we're paying for is really for the expo, okay? Um, and, and this board and you have nothing to do with the past and yet I need to verify what I'm voting for. So that is why I would like it to be, as Jamie said, from the point that we stopped withholding till the end of this year, I think we owe the Expo that. But for the new year, I would like to see your audit, I would like to see your proposal with a long-term range plan, et cetera, and short-term expenses and what repairs are needed and capital expenses and I'd like to see the um, destination marketing organization's proposal as well. So then we can determine jointly if 35% is the right amount. I don't know that right now. Um, I have seen no figures to support that, and I don't think it's prudent to make a decision without those figures. I, I want to treat you fairly, but I want to treat everybody fairly, and I can't do that without the numbers. What was that a motion, or what, what were you doing? Well, there? I'm I'm, pre I'm prepared to make that motion. And we're going to include the nineteen thousand for the, the the motion would include the nineteen thousand for documented expenses that were directly attributable to the tourist promotion activities of the Expo Center during the two thousand fourteen. The hundred thousand dollars available in uh, in a drawdown uh, based on actual presentation of things to be done and 35% uh, of the current hotel tax collected beginning November of 2014 and continuing into 2015 until such time as the DMO is formally uh, organized and we're able to certify that and then we can revisit those numbers at that time. If that's your motion, I would respectfully request that one and two be put in one motion and number three be put in another motion. I'm willing to do that. Okay. Can we take number one and two first? Is there a motion to um, grant one and two? I'll, I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And that's with the pay down for the 100000 Okay. Now, um, if you'd like to make your motion for right. number three. The second motion then would be to uh, beginning, and there is some retroactivity here obviously to the beginning of November, to uh, uh, instruct the treasurer to uh, pay directly to the Expo Center as a support from the hotel tax uh, directly to the Expo Center for 35 percent of the after the administrative fee has been deducted, the 2% administrative fee, directly to the Expo Center beginning November and continuing into 2015 as until such time as we have the DMO totally organized and are able to uh, enact a resolution. My intention at that time, this isn't part of it, but would be to go with the same thing, but I understand Commissioner Litz is un needs a better understanding of how that money's supported and going to be used and so on, but that would be my motion. I'll second the motion. With Just, uh, uh, and I think this is directly to the motion. I think with the new relationship that we have between the, the county, the Expo Center, and the DMO, uh, we'll really in the future have an opportunity to, to genuinely sort these things out and make sure that we're making accurate allocations to to everyone concerned. So it, it I just want the board and you and everyone to know I am not against helping to support the expo, 
but I do like to have facts and verify those facts in advance of a meeting like this. That has not occurred. I was also willing to give the $85,000 or whatever it was that worked out from April till December 31st, but that's not the motion on the floor because I feel an obligation. But if the motion is to go into 2015, I don't know how long it's going to take to get all of the municipalities on board, et cetera, and the, these are unknowns. I would have rather v revisited it once we had more facts. You could have come back with some more concrete numbers, that sort of thing. Um, so with the motion on the floor, it's obvious where I'm headed, but I needed you to understand I'm not against helping to fund something, but I need facts and figures. Okay. You keep mentioning a uh, five percent. Yeah. Is there some sort of uh, legislation that would increase the hotel tax to five percent? Is that what? There are some big, um, like Dauphin County, that have been allowed to oh, raise okay. theirs to five percent already. Okay, and we have not. No, I think it goes by the class of county. There's okay. a there's a state ordinance or state law or whatever you need to wonder through the county code and stuff. And it's different by class of county. Let me state what I think your motion would do. If you take, uh, currently, it had been um, when the expo was the TPA, the county split it 50-50, the hotel tax pot. Now it sounds like you would have the pie and 35% of the pie would go to the expo. The remaining 65% no. of the pie. No, 15% right now with this motion would go to the TPA. The ordinance says the county re retains 50%. I mean, right. the TPA would currently get 15 percent if we give them 35 and the county would retain 50. No, I, I think... Uh, Based on the ordinance. Well, the ordinance is a 50-50. We're that far. Uh, the It says 50 percent splits 50-50 between the, the TPA and the county. If you were to act today, I believe under the current ordinance, that would be you taking a portion of the counties that gets 50 percent and allocating 35 of that to the um, to the expo, the remaining 15 of that 30 and the other 50, I'm sorry, the remaining 15 of that 50 and the other 50 will still just continue to go into, you know, this the holding. I respectfully and, disagree because the 50% was for the expo and the TPA. And what I heard was a division of those two. We, you don't have currently a designated TPA to allocate that to, so it just goes into the account. No. I, I respectfully disagree. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm adamant about that one because the expo was getting 50%. We're talking about the expo. And the, so if they get 35 of that 50%, the other 15 is going to the, the TPA. The expo wasn't getting it, though, Joellen. The TPA was officially ready. Well, they were the TPA. That's what I'm saying. They were the TPA. And, and they were funding the expo from that TPA money. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries.